Hey guys, it's Good Friday. This is the day that Christians mourn the crucifixion of Jesus and reflect on how he died uh, for our sins. It's also a good day to cut your hair. Apparently, that's something that Catholic women would do. You cut it on Good Friday to have it come back stronger than ever. Oh, I, I just got it. It's like a resurrection for the hair. That's really stupid. Also, stop walking under the bacon, okay? It's rude. You need to take the time to go up in your rafters and unhook your flitches of bacon, all right? It reminds us too much of Jesus on the cross, so you can just take it down, take it down your, take down your flitch of salted bacon. Plus, sir, walking back and forth under the flitches and having it drip on your head is what causes baldness. Look into it. We don't want anyone becoming bald. Hashtag, am I right? So everybody, you know, when you're curing your salted bacon, let's go ahead and unhook that for one time during the year for Easter, okay? We don't want to be reminded. After Easter, go ahead and put them back up there. Guys, um, I don't know. I'm Catholic, I think. I don't know. I don't know if I am or not. My parents were raised strict Catholic, and then my grandma passed away, and uh, we didn't have to go to church anymore. So how does that shake down? Is it still on me? Is it in me? Does it expire after a time? I didn't do the things. I dressed as like a little virgin and asked for the blood of Christ, and I pretended to drink his blood. I did that one. That was a hoot. But I didn't go to the, in the box with the older man as an 11-year-old and tell him everything I did wrong. I'm 11. I didn't do anything wrong. Start making up stuff just so I could. I am, um, I am participating in penance, but that I do that. I just punish myself all the time for no, uh, for no reason at all, really. That's just, that's how I live my best life, you know. We all do it differently. Uh, and, oh, I am fasting, but that's because I ran out of groceries. Fasting and um, fasting doesn't include not drinking, so maybe I am Catholic after all. Gwyneth Paltrow felt trapped in her mansion during quarantine. This is an ongoing story, and this just in, um, we have an update on this story. A neighbor reported seeing a large delivery of sage, roses, and crystals being rolled into the house. Hopefully this will help put her at ease. Namaste. Vagina. Steam. You steam the vagina, you light the vagina uh, candle, you're protected from Corona. Guys, I read a story that said Google Docs are the best entertainment now. And I was like, huh, intriguing. But it's because they're doing comedy rooms, escape rooms, and interactive crossword puzzles. I'd rather be alone and lonely than do any of those things. If you know of anyone doing a Zoom comedy show, please support them. I just haven't been able to cross over. You know, and I, I got a lot on my plate doing, I do's the news. I do's the news. It's what I'm doing right now. You ever try to read stuff that you don't usually read just to, re just to seem smarter? MIT Technology Review questioned its readers. This was their catchy headline. Hey, why does it suddenly feel like 1999 on the internet? I don't even know what you're referring to. I wasn't on the internet in 1999, so I don't even know what the internet felt like. I was uh, hanging out in alleys looking for dates in 1999, okay? If you want to know about that, give me a call. I got it covered. Masks are mandated in LA, but you have to know somebody who, to know somebody who knows somebody to get it, get your mask. Or you have to have a pre-sale code, pre-sale code, because they're exclusive. It's a, it's a red carpet affair. Hey guys, in non-corona related news, uh, let's go to tornado news, shall we? Gibson is donating guitars to Tennessee tornado victims. It's really nice. I can't wait to hear all of the I lost my home and business to a tornado songs. Thanks, Gibson. And finally, this just in, uh, it's a question from a viewer. You know, people keep saying on social media and on TV, you know, messages like, we got this. 
How long before people admit we don't got this? Asking for a friend. I'm Mary Lynn, and this has been the news that's come across my desk. Thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow.